my friends I recently made some seed orders from Baker Creek I love their envelope and it has bubble wrap to protect your seeds from getting crushed and they fulfilled their order very very quickly I ordered it one day and two days later it showed up in the mail that's pretty awesome and they were accurate so there's my order and I'm gonna tell you what I got so firstly I got tons of basil because it's my favorite herb and it's still not too late to plant basil and so here is Siam Queen Thai and look at all those gorgeous purple blooms and I'm very sure these are very fragrant basil um, I've not grown this variety before and I can't wait to to grow it and it is very strong clove scented robust beautiful vigorous plant so I'm loving that Next, I ordered basil, Thai holy caprao. Basically, I ordered whatever was available that I did not. I also ordered some that I already have, but I just wanted more of them. So this is pretty cool, a holy Thai basil, because I have the regular holy basil as well that I bought a while ago. Basil, Thai sweet, Thai sweet basil. And I know this variety, it's so well scented and so delicious in a lot of foods. Popular, sweet, spicy flavor, essential in Thai cuisine, complex, delicious, nice licorice taste. <laughs> um, I think you're going to say pretty much the same thing about a lot of the basils, but um, like this Kaprao is an annual popular in Thai cuisine sacred to Hindus fragrant leaves have spicy sweet clove like flavor so as you can see the descriptions are similar um, but it is that nature for those types of Thai basil so the Emily basil look at how gorgeous the leaves are very very pretty similar to how pretty the Genovese basils are this is an annual compact Genovese type that is superior for pot culture blousy leaves automatic fine fla aromatic fine flavor <laughs> I like how it says about blousy leaves because yes it has it's um it's very um pretty very ro robust very leafy um purple ball basil and I love its compact nature and I love the color that's so pretty against like a, a chartreuse type of plant uh, like the lime basil would go perfect next to it 60 days beautiful fragrant and tasty purple foliage makes this basil both gourmet and ornamental plants reach just shy of one foot tall with a tidy round form and plum purple color excellent in raised beds containers and borders basil mamolo and this kind of looks a little bit like the Emily but let's see the description annual exceptionally high leaf production on compact bushy plants classic Italian basil aroma I've never heard of this variety so I'm really interested in um, trying it the, um, comparing the scent and um, the flavor to the Genovese versus the Emily basil and this is the Persian basil I already ordered this I love it it's like a purplish green um, variegation almost and it's really um, pretty very well scented annual really interesting and new southwestern Asian type distinctive aroma lemony and spice like yep um, Now we have the basil, Evivi. So this basil is called Evivi and Tor. And obviously you can make a tea out of it. So let's see. I've never heard of this one either. This peppery and piquant basil is from the Yu tribe in Ghana, West Africa. 
Flavor is floral with a hint of pine and citrus, nuanced and bold. Traditionally used in soup, stew, sauce, and beverages, seeds from Solomon Amuzu of Call to Nature Permaculture. Um, I love whoever describes these um, plants, the flavors and such, because they probably have um, a good basis of understanding of vocabulary and also um, how to describe the flavor of things because you really have to be spot on because it's really difficult for me to describe it, but I definitely love to taste things. Lettuce leaf basil. I love how big these are. You can make wraps with them. I love... I love the scent and the flavors of basil so much. That's why I ordered practically every everything that was available. There were other ones, but they weren't available. So here I have lettuce leaf basil. I've ordered this before. Huge three to five inch leaves Japanese basil with great flavor. Oh, I didn't know it was Japanese. Huh, that's interesting. Um, I thought it was Italian. So, annual may be sown in place in long summer areas or started indoors and set out after last frost day of spring. Set out seedlings at any size when warm conditions have arrived. Keeping flower spikes picked off in early summer will allow the plants to grow more quickly. So, yes, I, I love that one. I have that variety already, but I wanted more. Uh, here is the Chinese sweet basil. You can make a tea out of it. And I love the description of it as well. It is a flavorful citrusy variety that is perhaps the most tender and aromatic basil we've tried. Fast growing, heat tolerant, provides lemony orange flavored foliage. Even the stem is tender enough for raw eating in salad. A popular Chinese variety, perfect for Asian and fusion cooking. I love that it sounds like all parts are, are usable and that it's lemony citrusy. Oh, I love that. Basil, lemon. Um, lemon basil I have that already and like I said it has like a, a lighter green paler green color so it match well with the purple basil wonderful light yellow intense lemony fragrance and taste a real culinary de delight and yeah you want to brighten up food so that would go good in some pastas and stuff cinnamon basil oh my goodness I've always grown these and they smell so good um, let's see what their description is. Spicy, anise flavor, tasty, Mexican variety. Annual, may be sown in place in long summer areas or started indoors and set out after last frost date of spring. Set out seedlings at any size when warm conditions have arrived. Keeping flowers spikes picked off in early summer will allow the plants to grow more quickly. So yes, yeah, basically pluck off all the flowers so it'll keep producing leaves until late in the season and then you can let it go to seed so jibai shimi shimo shirazu i'm butchering that it's a cucumber and it looks really nice and tender and it can get real long and delectable variety from japan the sweetest cucumber we have tested tasted deep green fruits are about seven to eight inches long adapted to high temperature humidity and are disease and powdery mildew resistant so, again, I, I want to grow lots of those summer crops. Um, I love cucumbers just to eat fresh in hand and also in all kinds of salads and such. So, here's the Richmond Green Apple Cucumber. Really, really cute. Looks crunchy and, and light and I like the shape of it. Parisian pickling cucumber. You could tell that it's a tender cucumber. Like the skin looks thin and it looks like it's perfect for just eating fresh or, or pickling. And then here is the Suyu Long cucumber. And I heard that it's a really good variety. It doesn't get it doesn't have bitter flavors and you can pickle it. So here I have the China Jade cucumber. And it has Pretty good description. Long, slender, thin-skinned fruit develops without pollination, and it's a burpless cuke. So I love that. Great for snacking. Um, so here we have 
Tokiwa Tokyo Green Cucumber. And same thing, I like the qualities of being that it's um, tender skin, few seeds, excellent for pickling, buttery, soft and sweet, never bitter. Love it, love it. And I'm not going to be saving seeds from these because I plan on eating them, but I just wanted lots of seeds because um, I find it hard to collect the seeds. You'd have to wait till they're like really, really big and probably late in the season. I've never tried collecting the seeds, so I really don't know if it's difficult, you know, to get to get more of it the following year. Ionaga Jibai or Jibai. Um, if it's Japanese, then, then it would be pronounced every single letter. So, with it withstands drought, moisture, and attack of fungoid disease, and long slender of bitter free uh, uh, cucumbers. And this was a surprise that I didn't have the picture of the fruit in the, in the, um, when I was looking at it, it was like a generic photo, I think. So what a surprise that it's such a big cucumber. Metki Dark Green Serpent. And it, I didn't see the word serpent. I just read Metki Dark Green. And um, so I was like, oh, it sounded like a really good cucumber. Botanically a melon, but is used as a cucumber. Very mild and tasty. Picked small, 18 inches or less, an heirloom. So that's pretty interesting. I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm going to definitely try that. Long beans, Taiwan yard long. Look at that. I love those. I like to stir fry them. Um, if only my uh, stove could be a lot hotter because then you want to like almost braise it. It tastes so good. Braise it quickly with some garlic. So delicious. Um, superior flavor to common beans and it can be as long as three feet so I love that Chinese green noodle beans I don't know if it's different from the yard long beans uh, but um, if it's named differently or if it really is a different one but I love I love these. Um, when I go to the restaurants, I order braised green beans all the time. Chinese red noodle beans. So I got this because um, it's going to be easy to see, but I wanted to compare the flavor of this one to the last one to see how they compare. And then I got three free packets of seeds from Baker Creek. So bok choy hedu tiny. That is so cute. I love it. I, I would grow it and like probably have the children eat it um, and, and harvest it and stuff so that they can enjoy it. Such a marvel. And then Landis Winter um, Lettuce. Looks like a butterhead. Let's read it. Dutch Winter Lettuce. Pennsylvania Dutch. This variety is a descendant of the now extinct 1700s variety called White Tennis Ball from the rough wood seed collection one of the most frost resistant lettuces superb for winter harvest i don't have to worry about frost here but i hope it grows well here um lettuce merlot that looks really pretty and i i love that they gave me a purple one and i would definitely try it crisp waxy leaves frilly leaf margins so cut and come again. Awesome. So I also ordered seeds from Botanical Interests. And um, I the reason why I got it from here is because I love how they have some unique uh, seeds and unique varieties. And a lot of them were on sale. So I love that. And oh my goodness, the detail that they put into packaging. This is so gorgeous. It came in a box and to protect the seeds from being smashed. And it just looks so pretty, the presentation. And um, just, just so that you can enjoy what you ordered. Oops, sorry about that. Um, just so you can enjoy what you ordered let me show you how oh this is how it goes so you just open it up 
and look at the presentation. I mean, this is so nice. So, this here is just to hold, hold the seeds upright because um, obviously I didn't order enough to fulfill the whole box. But look at that presentation. That is so nice. And it comes with the invoice. And then the, the bigger packets of seeds that don't um, stand up in that position. So I ordered this big pack of arugula rocket. Um, I want to start eating more salads. So I decided to get that. And let's see. So arugula frost tolerant 20 to 45 days. So in early spring or late summer, so that's cool. I can grow it twice a year or more, possibly. California Giants Zinnia. Look at how pretty that they are. Four to six inch flowers, 24 to 48 inches tall. Really beautiful. And it, um, I, some of these are on sale. And then here is the Cut and Come Again Zinnias. And they're 18 to 30 inches tall, so they're even taller than the California Giants. Um, but I think the blooms were a little bit smaller. And then they have a nice seed starting guide. And it's a little booklet, and they provided it for free so that you can figure out how to grow different things. Um, it tells you like what, what's a good media to grow in. Um, and how to look at their labels uh, about seed spacing and such for the different seeds. Moisture, light, hardening off plants if you grow them indoors first. And how to store the different crops. So that's pretty awesome. So guys, I caught a cold, and just when I thought I was getting better, I caught another cold. As you can see, it was quite a few seeds, so I'm really happy with my order. Um, I got several that were on sale, and some were regular price, but that was okay because I got discounts on the sale ones, so that made it, like, you know, nice. Um, so let's go... Let's go through with it. Let me just kind of try to keep it in some kind of order. Um, so like I said, they gave me, I think on accident, another um, seed starting guide. And I think these are the free seeds they offered because it just says thank you. And so they gave me lettuce, mesclun lettuce so that's nice um, I do want to try different varieties of lettuces um, does it say what kind of lettuce they are oh yes thank you dressing recipe inside the packet oh so in the packet is a recipe for the dressing even that's cool that's awesome so I got Tomato Bush Ace 55. Um, I've seen it in the stores before, the big box stores, and I was going to pick it out. One time I picked out like a bunch and I, and I set it down in my... And I walked around a little bit without the shopping cart, and it's the orange shopping cart. And for some reason, the employee took all the seeds and then put them back and I couldn't believe it like that was money that he lost because I wasn't about to go and shop and and repick out the seeds that I had purchased or that I had already picked out like he totally undid what I spent time doing and I was like nope not gonna do it not gonna go looking for them again um, um, they didn't even ask me if I wanted the the, the seeds or not. I mean, there was no reason for ha for the person to to go to the to the cart and remove what I had picked out. That was the weirdest thing. Anyway, um, tomato pole cherry artisan bumblebee blend. 
so I love that it has like multiple colors red orange and and yellowish um, tomatoes artisan bumblebee blend so I bought a couple of those because they're so pretty and they were on sale so I decided to get more than one because I don't plan on saving the seeds from these they're so small um, I think it'd be a hassle so I just bought two two packs um, pole cherry sweetie those looked good in the picture um, and maybe the description of it was really good so maybe that's why I got it so I got this green zebra tomato I believe I got green zebra tomato um, from a different company but they were like long and narrow so I don't know if this is different because these are around so <laughs> but it was I recall it being called the same thing green zebra so I'm not sure and then I got sugar baby watermelons I got that um, from another company as well the the seeds um, so I have just a few left so I decided to uh, get another batch of seeds and once I finish off the other seeds I'll grow these I probably have like three or four of the that seed left some cardinal basil and did I get this from the other seed company? Cardinal Basil. <gasps> Did I just get Cardinal Basil? Oh no, uh, um, because these flowers are purple and bunch like that, I was thinking of um, how similar they are to the... I was thinking about how similar they appeared and de were described like the Siam Queen Basil. So I, I thought I had already ordered it, but this is the cardinal basil and like I said I it's my favorite herb of all time I could put it in so many dishes and just for the fragrance alone I would never waste it that's how I am I would never waste it for a um, floral arrangement because I love basil too much I have to have it as a tea or in my food I will not waste it oh I bought two of them huh that's that's not like me I I must have um it must have been on sale or something because <laughs> um, that's a I think it was like um, really cheap um, so I ordered two purple Petra basil look at how pretty that is so I'm gonna grow that as well as the other purple uh, ball basil but um, I love how different types of uh, vegetables and different types of herbs can have different colors and variegations and all that stuff so I can grow this as well as the other basils like the cardinal one with the purple flowers and the green leaves um, or with lime basil so I bought two of them and then I got sweet Thai basil which I did buy from the other company but I really like um, the scent of it and oh and they were on sale and the other thing is it's really hard to get these tiny seeds and then it's for some reason I have a hard time germinating them um, maybe I don't have like that delicate hand or the skills to collect the seeds because by the time it flowers and everything um, I, I give it a few days for the flowers to mature and then probably the seeds drop out so I I hardly ever get any seeds for the basil to regrow the next year so blue planet ageratum it's really pretty and it has a lot of blooms so I think it will provide a lot of um, food or interest um, it'll be aesthetically beautiful also um, attracts butterflies and bees and I wanted to try some different plant to grow flowering plant and I love the color it's like a bluish purple and because I grew some bachelor buttons and they were blue and they look so pretty I almost ordered this dark blue sweet pea 
However, I don't want to deal with um, trellising it and also it's not edible. So, I mean, I know this isn't edible, but I think it'll stand up better and it can make a good plant for floral arrangements. So I just decided to get that one. Calendula Pot Marigold Racina. So I don't know if this is different from the one used, the Pacific Gold, because it, it looks similar, but I just wanted to, to get it just in case it's a different variety. And it's the Officinalis. So, you, I mean, you can have it in teas, the petals and stuff like that, or you can make salves out of it. I got Indigo Rose Pole Cherry. Look at that blackish, blackish blue, purple colored um, fruit and the inside's red. I mean, that is so gorgeous. And like I said, I'm not gonna have the patience to get the seeds from them. So I got three of them, just so that I ensure that I won't, um, you know, run out of that one. It looks so cool. And I usually plant several for different people in my family, so, and, and my group of friends. So here's Echinacea Paradiso Dwarf Blend, and it looks so pretty, and the, there are a variety of those. So um, I do have a section where I plant flowers, and that's where my bachelor button are, my uh, zinnias and other, and my poppies are growing there this year. It's just an area where I have flowers, and sometimes I grow them in pots, but this year I used a soil that was problematic, and um, I think it was too strong, so a lot of my plants didn't make it. So I don't have as many flowers as I, what I planted, I planted a lot, but um, what you see is not so many varieties. The ones that were in the ground actually grew, but the ones that were in the pot with that soil, they didn't come up so that's really disappointing but I'll keep trying look at these beautiful cosmos I, I had to get this one that this is the reason why I looked at the catalog in the first place I wanted the apricot cosmo it is so pretty um, I'm more and more falling in love with cosmos because they have so many different colors and varieties um, for instance this one um, oops I got two of those because yeah um, I tried collecting the seeds and I seem to have a hard time um, getting the seeds from the Cosmo. So I ordered a bunch of them, of the, some of them duplicates. So I ordered this Cosmos Diablo. So I don't know how this is different. It looks like it has like um, two colors in one, like a darker orange and a lighter orange, unless that's just how they're um, drawing it. Um, to show like depth or, or whatnot, but um, I wonder if it's very different from the other Cosmos I bought from the big box store. Um, they were like called Fiery something, something like that. But this is called Diablo, so it's kind of different. So we'll see. We'll see how they look um, compared to the other ones. I mean, I have. I'm going to grow them side by side and, and see. And then this is so pretty. Um, double click blend. Look at how many petals there are. And then it's different colors. So I was excited to get this. I wanted it. Um, and I plan on growing a bunch because they're so pretty. And I got two of them. So I can gift a packet to somebody if I want to, because um, years ago I bought only one seed of every one packet of seeds of everything, and then I realized later on I was like, you know what? If it's affordable, or I mean, a packet doesn't cost very much, but I can order like a second packet to gift to somebody. It's something that I love, and maybe people will enjoy growing. Um, some of these things in their garden because I know my mom appreciates flowers when she gets them but like when she goes to the store she won't buy them so if I start them and I give it to her she'll I think she'll enjoy it uh, much more <laughs> so this one is really gorgeous it's a Rubenza Cosmo and uh, so far I haven't had that many reds in my garden I don't know why um 
some some things will die off or or I've had uh, some problems um, like I had like fresh mulch and I was trying to grow into the soil but I guess I grew too shallow the seeds um, I sowed them too shallowly so then it was more like in the mulch so things didn't grow before when I was starting off growing things so I'm, I'm learning as I go the different things I'm doing such as um, one time I made compost um, tea and it was too strong and I was pouring it into a lot of my plants and killing them <laughs> so a lot of mistakes uh, but you can learn from my mistakes as I'm telling you spare yourself some agony so here is poppy corn uh, poppy it's a corn variety I guess I don't know um, Shirley single blend but they were really pretty those pretty pastels look at that coral one that so pretty looking and I got this Nudicol blend Iceland I have a, a I have one in the backyard that's um, white with the yellow in the center and it is an Icelandic poppy but these look so pretty and I um, next year I'm gonna grow some more um, Goldie honey bear sunflower I don't I don't yet have this variety I don't think Goldie honey bear um, Oh, I got two of them. It's so weird. This order is kind of weird. I because I did look at the um, look at it before, and then I started ordering it, but then I didn't complete my order, and then later on I did complete my order. So I wonder if it duplicated some things. I'm I'm not sure. Um, Heirloom Beauties Sunflower, really really pretty. I love the pink ones, and I love the two-tone ones. I love the red ones. You know, I didn't used to think much of them um, because I thought they were too too dark. But when you just have, um, like, a ton of yellow sunflowers, you'll appreciate other colors for sure. The red ones actually do come out really, really gorgeous. So here is Giant Purple Zinnia. I love different colors a lot of my flowers in my garden are purples and pinks and I would like and some quite a few oranges come up um, I love the color um, like the poppies and then last year had um, orange zinnias but it was like that was all I was getting was just that was all I was getting was just some orange zinnias with only like one pink and one white zinnia so in that mixture I don't know what I did exactly I didn't mix it up or or whatnot or it wasn't mixed well so but I want a lot of color and variety and these are lily pet zinnias so they're going to be little flowers 22 to 36 inches tall blooms prolifically um Full double but I think the, the flowers are smaller flowers even though they are fully petaled I think that's what it means then I got lots of food things um, food items so I got more rocket um, Astro and I like the flavors when it's in salads and burgundy broccoli I love the purples so this year I tried to not grow any brassicas because I told you I had harlequin bugs last year, lots and lots of them, and they were they were killing everything that was a brassica. And then um, if you plucked out the brassicas, then they would go to other plants and start chewing on them, like the sunflowers and other things. So I I am staying away from um, brassicas this year. One grew on accident because I was throwing the seeds out of my seed box, just kind of cleaning out my seed box, and it grew. And I've been plucking it and giving it to my chickens, um, like, you know, eight leaves a day or something like that. And um, recently I found the white cabbage butterflies on them, the worms. Um, so I've been just plucking it and giving it to the chickens, plucking out any leaves that have holes, 
And if I do spot a harlequin bug, I'm going to just pull up the whole plant and give it to the chickens. Or I can eat the leaves. Um, it looks like the one, if you saw my last video, that brassica leaf is kind of wrinkly. So I wonder if that year, that year I grew a lot of kale and I had a dinosaur kale and I had lots of um, collard greens and other brassicas growing in my garden. So I wonder if something pollinated, cross-pollinated uh, ca dinosaur kale with a collard green because those, those leaves are shaped and like a collard green but with the wrinkles of the dinosaur kale. Here's the Chinese broccoli, Kai Lan. I love it. So it's bred primarily so that you can have the stalks. I mean, sure you eat the little tiny florets and the leaves, but it's this. This is pretty tender and you can eat it. And um, I love it. And Botanical Interest was one of the only ones that sells this Kai Lan. I think I've seen it at Johnny's before, but I didn't order it back then. And I saw it this time and it was on sale, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but I got a bunch of them. I think I got four packs of them. I was so excited because I love to cook kailan. You could just eat it with garlic, like um, stir fry it, or you could make it stir fry it with other ingredients in the dish, and or you could steam it, all kinds of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna grow it for myself, but I'm gonna give a pack to my mom, um, maybe my sister if she wants it. And then I've always wanted, and I've spotted it once in a big box store, but I never bought it because um, when I was starting off, I didn't know if I could handle growing a lot of things. And now I know I want to grow a lot of things. I want to to have to fill every space as much as possible so that the weeds won't come up, and then I can have lots of food. So um, I finally bit the bullet and decided to get the cauliflower Romanesco. I love the details, the way that it grows, um, the pattern, and the color. And so I got that. I plan on, um, and I got three, three of them. I kind of went crazy. I feel like I only got two, and it, things got doubled with my order somehow. Um, on, on, like I said, I looked at it once, picked out some things, and then I went out of the site, and then I went in and I ordered some things, and maybe. Maybe my order was somewhat like duplicated between the first and the second time I looked at the website. I'm not sure. So, uh, because that's kind of a lot of <laughs> seeds. So I don't, um, I don't know if I ordered three and when I meant to order two or I ordered one the first time and then when I went in and I plugged in two, it made three. Anyway, but that's fine. I'll give, I'll give something to my sister, I guess. And then I got Snowball Y Cauliflower because I wasn't going to order this since I have the Romanesco, but then I want that to make things like, um, because I don't know if the flavor is different for the Romanesco because it's greenish colored, light green. Um, so I wanted the Snow White the white color, the white ones, because I'm going to try to make rice cauliflower and other things and I think that will be like true to the taste. See like this, I don't think I ordered three. <laughs> I feel like I only ordered two, but whatever the case, I got them. So that's fine. Um, Armenian cucumber. Um, it's really a melon. Um, Space Master 80 cucumber. And um, that was on sale. So I got it. And it says it's good for pickling um, and slicing and eating fresh. So I got that. I just like to have a lot of varieties and try them out. I haven't tried them all out, so I want to know what they're like. I had started some feverfew in the soil blocks, and they didn't come up. I don't know if um, in the season it, it had, like, dried up or if during the rains um, my soil blocks got, like, filled with water and cold cold water and then had to dump the water out um so i don't know if that affected the growth so they never came up and i have a, a few seeds left of the fever few
So I decided I'll get some more because these are good for like when your children have a fever or somebody and you can make a tea out of it. And the flowers are really pretty like the way that chamomile would be. Um, but like this at least has I think more of a medicinal use. And I saw these um, marigolds. And I don't know if it's just like regular, typical African marigold, but um, it looks so like bright yellow in the picture. So I decided to get it. I hope I didn't make a mistake and, and that it's just like the store-bought ones. I hope it's fancier, but whatever the case, I, I got it. See, so I have Penstemon. Rocky Mountain Blue. I think that's the first one I got. So it seems like it duplicated my order or something. Let's let's check the first one that I had pulled out earlier. Okay, I'm just I'm just confused. Um, I really do have to review my invoice and look at it, but I did order separately. And as you can see, I am really attracted to the blue purples because of the bachelor button that I grew this year. The bachelor's button. Um, it's mesmerizing because it's the only blue thing in the garden <laughs> and it looks so pretty. So I did order the, what I mentioned earlier was the Ageratum Adger blue planet, which I've never grown before. So I, I confused it with the Penstemon Rocky Mountain Blue. So they're both going to be a bluish purple and I got this. This one's an annual and this one I particularly wanted it because it's a perennial and I think oh it likes okay yes full sun and par shade so yeah um, I'm gonna get some bluish colored multi flowering plants and in fact I really like this pentamen a lot so next I have the American Legion poppy and I wasn't gonna order this but like I said, I don't have that many uh, red flowers in my garden, so I decided to get this uh, red colored one because I saw it in um, some other garden and it's like a bright, shiny red and I, I really want that in my life. <laughs> so I got this eggplant, long purple eggplant and it's an heirloom and I got a chef's medley mesclin mix so that's kind of funny because I got a free packet from them that has the same mix but that's okay um, I can always share and I wanted to try some of their um, different varieties of cantaloupe so Sharon Tay Charente. I don't know how to pronounce it when it's um, a French variety because the French pronounce things so differently than the way it's spelled. So, um, but it, it, it looks like it's really good. Hills Best Jumbo Cantaloupe. And this is a jumbo variety. I got that Chante's one because it looks small and like a single serving one um, but anyway it's nice and cooling and the kids would love it uh, we're into watermelons and melons right now and oh yes this one's even smaller so I'm definitely gonna try to grow that this one this year um, as soon as I get off filming this I'm gonna go in and put this in the ground because I it'll grow quickly because these are really small pocket sized ones Minnesota Minnesota midget and because I heard that you could still you can still grow um, cantaloupe at this time of the year midsummer here mustard guy toy oh this is another reason but besides the guy land, to get this guy toy because my mom pickles these and they are so so good especially when it's with um you stir fry it with garlic and some chicken and some onions and um and then you season season it with sriracha or uh some kind of chili pepper it's so delicious 
So I got four packs. I'm going to give one pack to my mom. And I'm hoping she'll pickle it for me or show me how. Because I'm really interested in pickling these. Growing them and pickling them. Once I know how, I'll be set for life. Um, some mustard Florida broadleaf. I hope it's not tough. It kind of looks tough here in this picture, but in the picture that I saw online, it looked like it was a hardy plant. So maybe just that's what makes it look tough. Um, here is some chili pepper cayenne blend. So I do have some kind. I um, no, I forget if it's Tabasco or cayenne that I have the seeds, but I just want it. Um, to grow more peppers from now on because I really do love peppers New Mex lemon spice So this is a new variety from New Mexico It's a chili pepper chili jalapeno Variety, but it's got that special yellow color. They also have another New Mex one. That's new. That's orange and they're a medium spice so it sounds pretty good because supposedly just regular jalapeno is not as spicy so this one's supposed to be bred to be a little bit more spicy um, but I love the color too um, so that would be nice to brighten up some kind of dish like salsas or stir fries and stuff uh, chili pepper santaka and this is a frost sensitive 70 to 80 days from transplanting so probably add like 30 days um, if you start it. Um, so this is a Japanese zesty pepper variety. Oh, it says it's very hot. Ooh, interesting. Mm, I would like that because uh, I want some medium spice, some mild, and some um, spicier ones so I can mix and, and make my different mixes of hot sauce. Sweet Bell Blend Pepper. I want some bell peppers to grow, to eat, just to eat, to snack and stuff. Um, Jimmy Nardello. I've heard of this in other people growing them in their gardens. So I wanted to try it. It's sweet, rich flavor. New variety. Reminiscent of roasted apples. Interesting. And makes a wonderful paprika. So, sounds good. And then quinoa, brightest, brilliant rainbow. I want to grow this um, because you can have grains. And even if I don't eat this, um, I can feed it to my chickens. And it's so pretty. So that's why I got it. And oh my gosh. I know for sure I bought, I bought these because look at how pretty this calendula is. Zeolites pot marigold. Look at how pretty this is. In fact, I bought more than one because it is just so gorgeous. I love, um, I've been loving um, unique plants. So like I had a Cosmo, it's called Candy Stripe Cosmo. And it has like a, a, on the borders, the edges, it's like a pink. And then the center is like a lighter, lighter color, like white and or a pink, a paler pink. So it's really, really pretty. Um, just like the apricot. I'm obsessed. So here is the Zinnia Mazurkia. It looks so pretty. Um, so I had to get more than one for sure. Um, and I'm gonna grow a ton of these wherever I can find some space because my issue is I want to grow a lot of vegetables. But then at the same time, I want to grow a lot of flowers. So it's really, really hard to find space. But also I plan on succession planting and stuff. And um, next year I know what kind of soil I'm going to be buying. So I won't make the mistake of buying that soil that's burning my plants. And then um, they gave me yet another mescaline mix. Thank you. Um, free seeds. So... That's really awesome. I'm definitely going to give one of the packets because I ordered one and then I got two free ones. Plus I bought like two packets of Rocket. So I'm definitely going to give this to some, some family members. And I just love how it's so... I love the artwork and I love how the packaging is so um, detailed.